It's Monday, June 11th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Dolores, my friend on Facebook, says, I suffer from ulcerative colitis, 12 years in November, and also I have problems with my legs, lymphedema. Many of my Christian friends tell me that I'm not healed because my faith is not strong enough. My son says I'm a warrior because of my strong faith. Every day I pray that God will give me the strength and the tools to get through the day, and he does, but never a complete healing. What are your thoughts? Well, Dolores, I have a lot of thoughts, but the first thought that I have is shame on your friends for telling you that. You know, we have this idea that faith is something that we can produce and become strong, and folks, you can't. If your faith could have been strong enough on your own, Jesus wouldn't have died on the cross. If you could have done it by yourself, you wouldn't have needed him. The truth is you can't. And you know, it really isn't necessarily a matter of strong faith. If it takes strong faith to get God to act in your behalf, then what was this whole idea of Jesus dying on the cross for? You see, folks, it isn't the strength of your faith. It's that you simply put your life in God's hands and you trust him with what he's doing. Now, I want to play this out for a minute. And let me say, first of all, that I believe in healing. I've been healed many times of things. I also believe that there are some times I pray for healing and it doesn't happen. That's true right now in my life. Now, a lot of you are going to say, Pastor Bob, you just need to have more faith. Or maybe you haven't had the right people pray for you, or, you know, it runs the gamut. The truth is, I'm getting better. It's a slow process. I'd love for God to heal me just like that, and he hasn't. But, you know, I don't think it has anything to do with my faith. And if it did, would I ever really die on this earth? Seriously. If my faith was really strong, wouldn't I just be healed until time and live to be... 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 years old? Seriously? You know, all of us die. All of us die of something. Many times the the problems that we have are because we haven't lived our lives very well. Sometimes, you know, people die of lung cancer because they smoked for 50 years. You know, there's a lot of reasons why we die. Some of them are self-inflicted, some of them are not. Mine really are. You know, mine come from a lot of years of not taking very good care of myself. Not getting enough sleep was a big deal. Not resting enough. There's a lot of different things. But anyway, I don't want to go through all of that. But let me just say that, you know, it's not that. And, you know, Job had friends around him that were telling him the same thing. And God was disgusted with them and wouldn't speak to them but spoke to Job about them. It has nothing to do with how strong your faith is. And I really hope you don't listen to your friends. But what about your healing? You know, there are so many things in life that you and I need healing from. So many things. Not all of them are physical. And I imagine that God has this list of things, you know. And on that list are things that are physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, Where does God start? In my experience, and in my life, he's usually started with spiritual and emotional. He'll get to physical if he needs to. But what's on the inside of me is so much more important. And you know, sometimes people have illnesses that last their whole lives, and they die from them. It happens. It happens to some of the best people I know. But you know, this name it and claim it, this divine healing, God always wants to heal and you should never be sick kind of a mentality has really been destructive. I remember being around a very famous evangelist who taught about healing. And I remember that he decided not to go on one night because he had a cold. He didn't want anybody to see him with the cold. He was busted. 
Well, you know, that's what you end up with. People get colds. It happens. It has nothing to do with faith. And if God heals you, it's a wonderful thing. And I've been healed of things before. And I've laid hands on people that have been healed before. Has it happened every time? Absolutely not. Why doesn't it? I have no idea. I think that's one of the questions I'm going to ask when I get there. But Dolores, I want you to be encouraged. The greatest thing you said here is that your son said you're a warrior because you have strong faith. And you know the only reason you'd ever have strong faith is because God's giving it to you. It's his faith, the faith that the Holy Spirit produces as he works from the inside out again, that he produces in our lives and allows us to connect with the Father. So I'm sorry you're suffering from these things, Dolores, but I hope that inside you're experiencing peace and joy and freedom because the Bible says you can have all of those things no matter what's going on on the outside. God bless you. Have a great day.